How's it going everyone? Mike the Warhost here, and today we'll be continuing on with our Mythos video series by talking about the second faction available at the game's launch, the Hidden Ones. The Hidden Ones are a portion of a secret cult dedicated to the worship of Dreadfather Dagon, Deep Mother Hydra, and other deities in the sunken pantheon hidden amongst everyday folk in small, isolated towns and villages. Away from prying eyes and the ever enriching modernity of the 1920s, the Hidden Ones carry out the will of their Stygian gods in the Shadow War. If you want to learn more about the lore of the Hidden Ones, you can find a brief overview currently available on the Mythos website. The Hidden Ones faction box contains the following models adding up to 100 points. The Dunsmouth Witch, Molly Malone, Fisherman King, the Angler, and Click Clack. The Dunsmouth Witch is your faction leader, so she'll be getting an additional action point every activation. An important note with her is that she does not have a Madness Threshold, but rather specific conditions determining when she flips between Ready and Altar. Loss of a child requires her to flip to altar once either Click Clack or the Angler is killed, and to mark the unit that killed them. A Mother's Rage will force the Dunsmouth Witch to focus all of her attacks on the marked unit until it's been killed, at which point she flips back to ready. This is important to note as the Dunsmouth Witch loses a lot of abilities when flipped over to altar, so her utility will be greatly diminished during this time. While ready, the Dunsmouth Witch has three attacks. Basic Knife Attack that can cause bleed, Lime Dust, a 4-inch range attack that can cause blind. And Grasp of the Deep, a 10-inch arcane attack that can cause fatigue. On top of this, she also has a Touch of the Hidden One, which pushes everyone away from her up to 6 inches and inflicts either 1 or 2 wounds depending on whether or not the push models hit any terrain. This also allows Click Clack and the Angler to move towards the Dungeon Mouth Witch without provoking disengaging strikes. You can only use this once per game, so make sure you time it properly to save yourself. The Dunsmouth Witch also has, has a Fog ability, which gives all units within 8 inches of her soft cover unless they already have hard cover. Tangled Netting gives a minus 1 combat defense penalty to anyone currently engaged with her, making melee attacks against her a bit more difficult. Her Altered State loses practically all of this. In return, she gains a Mother's Rage, an Arcane Attack with a range of 10 inches, and the Blind Myth Effect. She keeps Tangled Deading, but everything else is no longer available until she's able to flip back. When you notice either Click Clack or the Angler running low on wounds, try to prep the rest of your force to lose their Fog bonus and get the Dunsmouth Witch into a good position to take out the marked target and get your buffs back. The Fisherman King is an interesting unit for the Hidden Ones, as he can choose when to flip between Ready and Altar at the start of his turn. Twin Souls allows him to flip between the two for the price of one myth and both sides are just as formidable. The ready side has two attacks, a tentacle blade and a 10 inch harpoon attack. Both of these have the potential to inflict the bleed condition if desired. Cephalopod Inc. forces enemy models charging the Fisherman King to make a ranged defense test or gain the blinding condition and lose their charging bonus. Surefooted lets them ignore difficult terrain and Tangling Tentacles gives opponents trying to disengage a minus one combat defense penalty to their disengaging strikes. The Altered Side keeps his two attacks and adds the Precision Shot Myth ability, granting him a plus one bonus to ranged attacks for that activation. While he loses Cephalopod Ink and Tangling Tentacles, the Fisherman King gains Whaler, allowing him to reroll all dice for the first ranged attack, provided he did not flip to Alter that turn. Knowing when to flip him from ready to altered and back again will be key to use, utilizing the Fisherman King effectively. Keep him in ready when enemies are within charging distance and switch to altered to turn him into a sniper thanks to Precision Shot and Whaler. Molly Malone is an important support unit that you should definitely prioritize when it comes to safety. A lot of her key support abilities are only available on the ready side and her low madness threshold of 2 means it won't take much to flip her over and lose out on a lot. Molly has two attacks available to both the ready and altered sides. A basic knife attack that can cause bleed, and Siren Song, a 10 inch ranged arcane attack with the fatigue myth condition. Wailing Deep allows you to spend a myth point and apply half the damage of a Siren Song attack to all units within 3 inches of the designated target. This can be a highly effective way to soften up enemy units before sending in some of the heavy hitters. Fresh Produce can heal one wound on either Molly or a unit within 4 inches. Siren gives enemy models targeting Molly a minus one penalty for any ranged or arcane attacks against her, and Flailing Death makes her a tough melee target as it requires any model at base contact to pass a combat defense test or suffer three wounds. When she flips, however, a lot of this goes away. Wailing Deep, Siren, and Fresh Produce are gone. 
In their place, you get Arcane Addiction, forcing you to either make an Arcane Attack that activation or suffer one wound, and Fears Her Wrath, giving you a minus one penalty to Arcane Attacks when you are within six inches of the Dunsmouth Witch. While she can definitely hold her own in a fight, her low bandage threshold is Molly's weak point. Protect her as much as possible. The Angler is the only other Hidden Ones unit with a set madness threshold, and it's a pretty low tier at that. Fortunately, it doesn't lose its key ability when flipped to Altered. We'll get to, we'll get to that in a minute. Trust me. The Angler has a basic claw attack that can flick blind. Don't look at the light is a myth ability that will force enemy models to pass an arcane defense test or lose their charging bonus. Essence Stealer lets it heal three wounds, provided it does at least three wounds of damage to another model. The most important ability, however, is Familiar, which lets the Dunsmouth Witch channel arcane abilities through the Angler, much in the same manner as, as Zeus and Professor Lazarus. Unlike Zeus, however, the Angler keeps his familiar ability when flipped to Alter. He loses Don't Look at the Light and Essence Dealer and gains Mother's Call, which will give him one madness at the end of its activation if it's more than eight inches away from the Dunsmouth Witch. Like Zeus, the Angler, Angler is primarily a flanker and finishing unit that should be kept out of reach unless familiar is needed. And finally, we have Click Clack, the gigantic evil crab monster. Like most of the Hidden, one, hidden Ones units, Click Clack does not have a madness threshold, but rather a specific condition that determines when he flips between Ready and Altar. Unlike the rest of the Hidden Ones, however, Click Clack does not lose a great deal when changing between the two. Click Clack has a single attack available. Huge Claws, a melee attack that can apply fatigue. He also comes with the Hardened Shell Myth ability, allowing him to reduce incoming damage by one wound. Abomination lets him not only cause fear, but force your opponent to gain madness regardless of whether or not they pass their fear test. Surefooted lets him ignore difficult terrain while moving, and Barnacles gives models either charging or being charged an automatic wound. Crabwalk lets him move while engaged, as long as he stays in base contact with all the models he's engaged with. The key ability, Protect the Mother, determines when he flips. If the Dunsmouth Witch suffers at least five wounds from a single attack, Click Clack flips over to Alter. The model that inflicted the wounds immediately becomes marked. Click Clack gains a plus two bonus to combat attacks against the marked model, and does not provoke disengaging strikes when targeted by anyone aside from the marked model. As soon as the marked model is killed, Click Clack flips back to ready. The only ability that he loses flipping to altered is Hardened Shell. Everything else stays the same. Managing flip conditions for your units is the key to using the Hidden Ones properly. Keep the Fisherman King in his altered state until melee attacks or threats, then switch to ready. Keep the Dun's Mouth Witch up front with Click Clack nearby to start wailing on anyone who hits the wound threshold for Protect the Mother. Keep the Angler somewhat safe so it can be used as an arcane attack conduit should the Dun's Mouth Witch flip to Altered, and keep Molly Malone behind everyone else to avoid hitting her madness threshold. Well, that's going to do it for me today. Stay tuned for more Wild West Exodus, Mythos, Fog and Friction content in the near future, as well as some looks at Dystopian Wars and Lost World Exodus in the future. Maybe? Please? Take care, everyone. The benefits of not being alive. Fatigue. Really, Kitty? I'm in the middle of something. You're going to come over and, at and just attack my stuff? Hmm? Huh? What are you doing? Yes, I know. I'm recording right now. You can see the camera there, right? Okay. Yes, I love you too. Nyam, nyam, nyam. But you know what? I can't, have you, I can't have you attacking random stuff on my green screen when I'm recording. That's not nice. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Yay, stuff for blooper reel. Blah. Water time. <sighs> Thank God for editing. Just add a little bit. Do you want the cat?